With the arrival of Season 10, guilds have come to the Sea of Thieves, building upon and significantly enhancing the compelling social gameplay that's always been at the heart of this experience. Being part of a guild is like having your own private trading company. You'll work together with other guild members towards shared goals and rewards. And you'll do that by selling treasure and taking part in faction PvP battles to earn guild reputation. Guilds can have up to 24 members, and each pirate can be a member or owner of up to three guilds. Any pirate on the Sea of Thieves can join an existing guild, as long as you're invited, of course. But if you're a captain who owns their own ship, you'll be able to create a guild and give it a unique identity with its own name, motto, and visual branding. From there, you'll pledge one of your ships to the guild, which means that when you set sail, you'll start progressing your guild through the ranks. And if you choose to do so, you can let other guild members take it out on the waves when you're not using it. When they set sail on your pledged ship, they'll be able to marvel at your unique approach to decoration, with all of the trinkets and other ship customizations saved from your last session. Plus, the adventures they have whilst using your ship will also count towards your ship's milestones. Other captains who join an already established guild can also choose to pledge one of their ships as well. This means that guilds can have whole fleets of shared ships for members to take out on their adventures. In order to stay connected to your guild, you can use the Guild Chronicles. This will allow you to keep up with what's been happening in your guild since you last played, with recent activity highlights. And if you want to see who's online, and if there's any space for you on their crew, you can see all available ships in the Guild Ship Fleet View. And just like other trading companies, when you set sail for your guild, you can also do so as an emissary. You can raise your guild emissary flag at the Sovereign's tent, and then any treasure you bring back to them will increase the value on your guild emissary ledger. Depending on your position on the ledger, you can unlock new titles, decorative ornaments for your ship, as well as new magical paintings that are alive with motion. When a guild completes level 100 in reputation, they'll earn a distinction. The guild plaque found on every guild ship will visually upgrade each time you earn a distinction. And you'll also earn an upgraded flourish on your guild reputation card. As you earn reputation, you'll unlock many shared rewards, including ship's roll clothing, allowing you to roleplay as a navigator, helmsman, cook, and cannoneer. Some of the rewards you earn within a guild are only accessible as long as you remain in that guild. However, there are many that you'll get to keep, including all of the ledger rewards and the rewards that you earn by representing guilds of high distinction, including the ship in a bottle trinket and the unbroken bonds ship set. So start recruiting for your guild today as you hoist your own personalized colors and set sail for infamy with guilds in Sea of Thieves.